Hey guys, and welcome back to Medieval. When we last left off, we'd made it through the lake and fought our way through the whirlpool, through loads and loads of strange enemies, which, thinking about it, I don't think we even looked at our book, did we? We didn't look at all the new enemies. So we shall do that at the start here. Anyway, we fought our way all the way to the Crystal Caves. So, it would be rude not to enter now, wouldn't it? Let's go. The Crystal Caves. A great dragon lies somewhere within this cave. But you may want to leave him be. A hero's skull would probably fit nicely with his collection. Ah, and we also got the magic bow, if I remember correctly. Magic longbow, which is an amazing piece of equipment. However, maybe not quite as good as it should be. Uh, with the amount of ammo it has. Now, you need these dragon gems. If you don't have these dragon gems, for whatever reason, if you've lost them or lost them, if you didn't collect them from the witches, which, to be fair, is fairly easy to miss if you're not sure what you're doing, then you cannot continue on this mission. Elephant dragons. What? Ah, right, yes. The elephant dragons are what was underneath in the whirlpool. Subaquaticus pachydermis draconis, truly one of nature's marvels and found nowhere on earth other than the lakes of Galamir. These peaceful creatures are the product of a chance encounter between an elephant and a dragon. <sighs> truly love knows no bounds. Yeah, let's, uh, <clears throat> let's try and expunge that image from our memories, shall we? So, what else did we get? Ah, fish monsters. These floundering <laughs> things lure naive fishermen near the water before dragging them screaming into the watery depths. There's no such thing as an easy <clears throat> meal in Galamere. Not for humans, at least. Yeah, they look savage. Oof. Now, watchers. Hired muscle. <coughs> the guardians of Galamere should really shell out more clams for their services. Nevertheless, these barnacles still stick around. <laughs> oh, she's so punny. I love it. What else we got? Oh, look at those. Oof. They're the creatures that I hate so. These aquatic abnormalities found a home in the sunken town of Melomede. Here they spend their days performing ritualistic sacrifices to malevolent elder deity. Perhaps best not to get involved, I'd say. Yes, however, we had to get involved and we had to slay the lot. Right, and that leads us up to present. Okay, let's take our magical bow out, shall we? One shot of the new magical bow puts these uh, shadow demons in their place. And there is the chalice, pretty much right off the bat. And Dan goes down the hall. God damn it. Very easy to fall off in a lot of places on this level. Which uh, is a bit of a bastard. However, we must endeavor to be a little bit more careful, Dan. The ancient town of Melomede was destroyed by creatures known as Rhinotaurs. They live on still, but in a state of hibernation deep within these caverns. They use the crystals to prolong their worthless hides. Is that so? Well done. How about a little bit of revenge for Melomede? Excellent. There are also those imps on this mission as well that will steal our stuff. So we need to be vigilant. Ah, we literally had our sword stolen and then somehow instantly recovered it. Not sure how that works, but I'm not complaining. Bloody bats everywhere. Damn it. And look how pretty this cave is. I really do like this level. Okay, that's a very pretty gem, but also quite a dangerous one. We need to brave the laser beams. Uh, significantly easier on the PlayStation 4, as opposed to the original PlayStation version, which really was quite savage. Anyway. Look what we have here. It's like we have a target rich environment. Really? Can we not just, you know, aim properly? 
I guess we can't. There we go. Boom. Open, says I. Let the slaughter begin, Dan. And these stupid imps don't even know what hit them anyway. Fools. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. So what do we have here? Ah, our first Rhinotar. Two Rhinotars. Oh my. They're pretty rough customers. Let's just leave it at that. They're nasty little bastards. But that's okay. Dan is fairly fearless. And a few swipes of our magical sword sends them to the grave. Uh, that contains a shield. I think it's a silver one. Yeah, uh, I guess we'll take it. Because why not, I suppose. Don't need to worry too much about killing the bats. They do not um, give us anything towards... Ah, hello, friend. They don't give us anything towards our chalice, sadly. Some gold. I'll have your gold. And I'll have your energy well. Excellent. I'm getting a little bit low on health there for a second, Dan. Well, maybe we weren't getting that low, but low enough if you catch my drift. We don't like being that low on health, do we, Dan? No, sir. Uh, oh, hey, friend. My sword. You hear me? Mine. Now, these enemies are actually fairly tough, but, uh, of course, ah, you can buy stuff there. But, uh, of course, having the magical sword kind of <laughs> invalidates pretty much all the enemies, makes everything trivial. Softly in these caves, for an ill-tempered dragon has a lair here. Oh, really? Well, let's go see this dragon and, uh... See what his business is all about. We may have to put him to the sword. Or, well, may have to put him to the hammer. Some gold. Excellent. What's through here? More imps and more minotaurs. Ooh, lots of minotaurs. Or should I say rhinosaurs? Uh, looks like um, we've slaughtered the whole slumbering race of them. Shame. Really? Didn't think about it. But still, they stand in the way of Sir Fortescue, they get the chop. And that's just the way it goes in Gallomir. We've just used a life bottle, which ain't great, but that's fine. We have plenty. The chalice can now be collected. Nice. Alright. So that's this area cleared out. Now, let's go find ourselves a pesky dragon, shall we? Hopefully we're not going to get too horribly murdered. Hey, Dan. Oh, boy. Let's go. Let's grab some health. See what the book says. A mean old dragon can be summoned by inserting two dragon gems into the eye sockets of the relief. The grouchy dragon doesn't come out much, as he is afraid of the roof collapsing over his head. Is that so? I shall bear that in mind. Uh, no, we don't use that. We'll use that. I see. Interesting. Uh, yeah, we'll have the health. So, we smash, and the roof, she crash. Gotcha. Yeah, there's quite a lot of gold and whatnot here. That just contains a club, I believe. Yeah. Right. Oh, uh, no, that's fine. That's fine. Right, well then. Let's do it. Hello. To enter my lair and wake me from my slumber. <laughs> Aha! Prepare yourself, little man. I shall roast the flesh from your bones. Oh, uh, I see. Well, in that case, I will pluck out both your eyes. Oh, great. I'm just going to give you a good hide. Is that so, Mr. Dragon? Well, oh, God. We're going to give you a good thump on the head then. Um. 
He's on the green crystal. Ah, green crystal. Boom. Oof. How does it feel, Mr. Dragon? Huh? Oh, God. Red. Red. Where's the red crystal? Oh, where's the... Above the... Uh, what crystal's up there? That's the red one. Now he's on the blue. A bit too slow there. Uh... Okay. Oh, red. Red. Nope, nope. We want the blue crystal. That one. Come on. Ah, son of a bitch. Uh, red crystal. Dan, you're meant to do the daring dash. Ugh. You see? You see how infuriating it is to get him to do the daring dash. We need the green one That. Nope, too late. Purple. Come on, purple. Yes, we got him. We got him. Uh, right, red. See? Didn't do the dare and dash again. Oh, it's so infuriating when he doesn't do it. Okay. Okay, green. Gonna be too slow. Yep, yeah, that's fine. Uh, blue. Come on. Come on. No, we got the wrong one. Uh, red. Need to remember the top one is red. Oh, we almost missed it then. Not going to be able to make that one. Or that one for that matter. Alright. We're just going to duck and weave. Come on, Dan. There we go. Enjoy that on your bonser. Come on. Oh, you git. That's not the right one, is it? No. No. Oh, that one's the right one. Ooh, on your head, mate. It's a shame there's no other way to hurt him. Because this does take quite a lot of damage. Or quite a lot of doing, I should say. Come on. Oh, you bastard. Right. There we go. Yes. 50 damage per hit by the look of things. Oh, God. Now he just spams and gets really quick. Damn you, you bastard. Oh, you dick penis dragon. Yep, this is where things really pick up the pace. Ow. Ooh, got him. Got him. Uh-oh. Come on. Nope. Go. Oh, there we are. Oh, you son of a bitch. Yep, that's fine. Ooh, right in the head. Now, what colour now? That's the red one. We've missed it, though. Green. Red. Purple. Although, this is definitely not purple. Ooh, right. One more hit and he's done. One more hit and he's done. Come on. Gotcha. <sighs> Good. Dragon potion and leave me alone. Drink it when you need it. It gives you armor that is impervious to heat. Plus, it lets you breathe fire. Now go away. Aw, oh, I think we've upset him. Well serves the bastard right for trying to kill us. Now, we've gained the dragon armor, which is pretty cool. It doesn't actually give us any, well, um, armor. But it does make us impervious to fire, like the dragon said. And it does allow us to breathe fire, which is... Uh, well, I mean, it has limited use. But we can't use any other weapon whilst we're using it. And it does hit the frame rate really hard. But, you know, it, it's... It's okay, I guess. It is what it is. Um, uh, Dan? Dan? Uh, 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 Dan? Thank you. Okay, that was stupid. I'm gonna screen cap that one. Right. Let's see if we can flame these bats. Yeah, the fire effect is kind of anticlimactic, to be honest, as well. It's uh, eh, it's not fantastic. It's not bad against the shadow demons, though. Now let's. Yeah. I don't know if that counts as fire. Nope. I guess that does not count as fire. 
That counts as horrible burning lasers. Hmm. Unfortunate. Alright, let's go back. But before we go that way, let's go back and get the chalice. So we can once again visit the Hall of Heroes. Oh man, I do love the look of this crystal cavern. You know, I miss games like this on the PlayStation 1. Uh, obviously this is massively enhanced, but we had so many interesting locations, you know, where fantasy... I mean, if you think about modern fantasy games, it's just essentially uh, Lord of the Rings stuff, which makes sense, because Tolkien ripped the bloody book. But back then, man, there was so much more creativity involved. You know? They really did mix it up a bit. It wasn't all just boring orcs and elves and yeah, that sort of stuff. There's a lot more humour as well back then, I think. Right, well, we are certainly, certainly going to need to go to the crypt and get our health back, aren't we? Man, we took a bit of a kick in there. But, let's go to the Hall of Heroes first. And we need to look at our book. Which I think we can do in the Hall of Heroes. I'm sure we can. <sighs> Not bad, Dan. Not bad. Wouldn't this make a wonderful tourist attraction? Yeah, maybe. Come see Stengard the Mighty. Come and see the last of the centaurs. Oh. And see that dork over there? That's Daniel Fortescue, would-be hero. Oi! <laughs> Cheeky bastard. Once I'm in charge, I'll have you thrown out of here, mate. Right. Yeah, I guess we'll enchant the sword just for the sake of it. Um, no, we're pretty tooled up. Let's go, daddy-o's. Ah, hello. Daniel, there you are. I was so worried about you. Mm -hmm. I know you have the heart of a hero, Daniel. Now we must show the others. Would you like to take my magic lightning bolts? I don't have many, but they're very powerful. <coughs> Off you pop then, and keep your chin up. <coughs> Oops. Sorry, Daniel. Now take care. The good people of Galamir are depending on you. Mm hmm. Well, thanks for the lightning bolts. Damn. These lightning bolts are really cool. They're really powerful. We're not going to use them too much. Oh, I can't even demonstrate them here because there's no enemies to zap. So when she says she doesn't have many left, it's kind of odd because, I mean, we essentially use it as much as we like as long as we uh we stock it from the shopkeep every now and again uh very powerful actually very powerful bit of magic i think i'm sure although i could be wrong i think we get that upgraded and it becomes chain lightning i think or something like that uh, anyway, we're not going to use that now. We might as well switch back to that. Oh, switch to that, I suppose. And we'll have the good old daggers out, because why not, eh? Because I'm going back to the graveyard. And the reason I'm going back to the graveyard is because I need to refill all these health bottles. Because, Dan, well, buddy, you're a little bit worse for wear, lad. You only have half of one life bottle left. Less than half of one life bottle left. But before we do that, let's have a little look at our Book of Galomir. Uh, any friendlies? No. I'm surprised the boatman isn't here. I really am. What about enemies? Rhinotars. An ill-fated mining expedition by citizens of Melomede caused a tragic and brutal retaliation by the Rhinotars. Damn. They have since gone into hibernation. Nothing irks them more than being woken up early, and to them, anything before 2 p.m. is early. Oh, I can relate. Mean old dragon. Perhaps the last remaining dragon? A fearsome, indomitable beast with absolutely no vulnerabilities. 
apart from that one cranial fracture he sustained from waking up with a start and banging his head on the cave Oof. roof. Good thing no one will ever find out about that. Yes. Dragons were once hunted for their blood, which is said to grant the power of fire breathing. This particular dragon's solitude stems not from the fear of hunters, but from his crippling social anxiety. Oof. Well, we certainly gave him a good thrashing, and we got a vial of his blood, apparently, which, well, doesn't really uh, seem that way when you look at the item. I mean, it's literally dragon armor. I don't really understand that. I'm, I don't know why it's not just like a vial or something, but maybe I'm thinking too much into this. But this game has some interesting uh, discrepancies like that. Yeah. Oh well. Anyway, well, let's go back to the map. And I need to spend some time healing Dan and refilling his health bottles because, my god, we took some horrible damage there. Now, we've almost got all of the weapons in the game. And that. I th yeah, we still got two health bottles to get from the Hall of Heroes. We've got some money to collect. And that will leave us two other things. I'm not really sure. I can't remember what the two other things are. I know we get... I'm sure we get the lightning upgraded. I don't want to say I know we get it upgraded. But I'm pretty sure we get it upgraded. So, anyway guys. I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.